What's up guys, Mark Poff from Copper V Glass here. Um, just a quick kind of um, installation of a new screen protector that I got the other day. Uh, a little bit different to kind of standard screen protector. Um, it is the iVisor AG from Moshi. Now, uh, it's not kind of a standard kind of, uh, kind of you know, uh, plastic kind of flexible film kind of screen cover. Um, this one is uh, kind of a hard all-in-one piece. As you can see, it actually includes the actual bezel on there. And in fact, that is the only kind of sticky part to the screen protector. Uh, but I'll explain that more in a second. Um, I've got a AG version here, which is anti-glare. So I'll see, uh, you know, I prefer the anti-glare because of fingerprints and, and just generally using it in the sun and the reflection and so on. So just a quick look at the back here. Obviously, patented technology ensures simple 100% bubble-free insulation. Um, and it says that it can be washed and reapplied. And uh, now, as far as I'm aware from reviews and things, that's not necessarily the case. Um, but obviously, the, the treatment on the surface of it provides enhanced scratch protection and smudge resistance. So we'll do now, see so just here, open here, just tear it on the top there. See what we get in the actual pack itself. That was terrible. Hold on one second. That's better. Okay, so inside here we have the contents. Nothing else in there, completely empty. So here, let's have a look. It's got a little uh, put to the side. We've got here the insulation guide, um, which is obviously just standard wipe it down, stick it on basically, that's pretty much it. It's still the same installation um, as a uh, as a standard screen protector, but obviously you'll be able to see here that it's very different because obviously it includes the whole section. So we'll just have a look into this now. now apparently you have to be very careful not to actually bend the screen protector. Now I'm not sure if you can see here, but it is actually a bit thicker than your standard screen protector. Uh, they do include obviously a microfiber cloth, but it is very small and you know, not really much use. I'll just stick to my uh, my standard blue one and also my standard cleaning fluid now. So I've got my iPhone 4 here. Obviously you can see it's very, very day at the moment. So what we'll do, I'm just going to get this cleaned up real quick and then obviously we'll get to the uh, the insulation part of the actual protector itself and then obviously see kind of how the results fare basically. So bear me one second to sort of clean this all up for you now. So you do you do only get kind of one one go basically with the screen protector they say obviously once it's on it's on it's kind of a bit like the glass t by sgp that's at the moment a lot of people are kind of um raving about kind of being the best screen protector on the market now i have actually ordered the um the glass t so that's going to be on it's won't be able to have a look at that one but for now obviously we'll we'll try this one out so that seems to be relatively good there I can't really see any dust on there or anything like that, so that should be fine. See that? Pretty clean now. I will just kind of use this just for one last go over. Because obviously, although I've used mine, it's always handy just to kind of get a second opinion. Let's have a look. There we go. That looks pretty good to me, you know. All the dust and everything all off of there. Now, obviously what I'm going to do, I'll obviously do it, as I always do, kind of buttons up, home button up, because that's the easiest way for me to do it. What I'm going to do now, just peel back this whole kind of back section that we've got here. Okay. Let's get the home button kind of lined up there. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the whole thing off actually. Just make sure it all definitely lines up 100%. That looks pretty good to me. Lay it down on that. Okay, that's it basically. That is it on there. So as you can see here, it does cover the whole thing basically. Um, now, so just pressing on that there. Pretty good with the fingerprints. Let me just actually have a look at the screen itself. Let's have a look. 
Yeah, that is pretty good actually. I'm not sure if you can see that there. But actually, the quality isn't really uh, diminished at all. It's a bit better, to be perfectly honest, than some of the screen protectors that I've used. Uh, let's just have a look. Again, the viewing angles not affected by the screen protector. Can't really see that one. Let's do it that way there. Can't really see there. But no, to be honest, really nice. I mean, like you saw, obviously, there. Very simple install. Um, what's got there? The cow for the home button, pretty much spot on. At the top, they got a big cut out there for the uh, front facing camera. Got the earpiece and also the light sensor as well, as uncovered as well, which is perfect. So, I mean, to be perfectly honest, that is pretty good. I mean, like I say, I'm probably going to be um, rocking this with uh, just a bumper because I do obviously like having the back of my iPhone shown as well. Um, they did used to do it with the front and the back. I uh, don't know why they've changed it, but now it only comes with the front. Um, it does cost $17.99, so it's not exactly a, a cheap screen protector, but like I say, if that's the quality that you get here, it is very good. And I'm actually very impressed with that. It's you know very simple, obviously, like I say, no air bubbles. And what I was worried about as well was the fact that, obviously, around the edge is the only bit where it's sticky. So along the bottom there, top, and obviously down the two sides here. Now, I was worried that there was just going to kind of be some tactile kind of feedback where you would hear the screen protector then touching onto the screen, but you don't get that at all. Um, and obviously, like you can see here, it works perfectly fine. Obviously, just swiping through menus and things, it works, you know, no problem at all. Real simple, real real smooth, basically. Um, so, yeah, like I say, basically, this is the um, Moshi iVisor AG, obviously, anti-glare. Um, like I said, I'm Michael from Copy the Glass, um, and I would highly recommend this screen protector, although obviously the price is a bit much. If you can find it for cheap or maybe Amazon or, for instance, anywhere like that, definitely go ahead and get this. Um, but like I say, thanks very much for watching, um, and I'll see you in the next video.